this is Dr. Brian Taggy, and this is the ENT Minute. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about what to expect after nasal or sinus surgery. And so your doctor has recommended the surgery, and the problem that has led for him to recommend the surgery has been identified. You're ready to go to the surgical center or the hospital. And some of the surgeries that we do on the nose are septoplasty surgeries, and that's repair of a deviated nasal septum. Sometimes turbinate surgery can be combined with the nasal septum surgery to assist in getting that septum into the proper location and to reduce the turbinate away from the septum. Others uh, really common procedures are removal of polyps or endoscopic sinus surgery if there is a pattern that's identified on CT scan that requires that. And so you go to the hospital and uh, the doctor and the nurses will talk to you prior to the procedure. Following the procedure, you'll, you'll go to the recovery room and then recover most of these procedures are done as an outpatient basis, meaning that you go home the same day after proper recovery there in the surgical center or the hospital. Now, when you go home, there are some really common things to expect. And it's, it's helpful to know this before the surgery or, or as you go home to understand what thing, kind of things will happen normally after the nasal or sinus surgery. The first one is that you'll have drainage. And that drainage is almost always bloody. Now there's different levels or there's varying degrees of, of bleeding after nasal and sinus surgery. And of course there's a, there's a, a line from uh, normal bleeding uh, versus excessive bleeding that you would need to contact your physician about and on rare occasion, uh, that's one of the potential complications is excessive bleeding after the surgery. But normally there will be some bleeding for a few days, three, sometimes up to five days after the procedure. I tell all my patients, no nose blowing for one week. And the main reason for that is to prevent excessive bleeding. And if you blow your nose in the immediate post-operative period, you'll have, it, that will induce more of the bleeding. And so head elevation uh, helps it with some of the bleeding. Some people like to put ice on top of their nose and, and along the cheeks, and that's sometimes comforting to the patient. It, it helps with some of the pain, uh, and it also can constrict some of the vessels. The cold uh, induces some of the the constriction of the vessels that'll decrease some of the bleeding as well. One of the most important things that you'll be told after nasal and, and sinus surgery is to use nasal saline. Now, <clears throat> some people will use nasal saline as a spray. Some people will use it as an irrigation or even a neti pot. But one of the most important parts of the recovery is using nasal saline preparations. And I'll tell my patients three to five times a day for a total of six weeks. And that's a long time, but realistically, that's how long it's gonna take for you to completely heal from the sinus surgery. It's a whole six weeks, and some, some people expect that they're feeling completely better after three or four weeks. And if, if you look at the healing phases of the nose and the lining within the nose after any type of surgery that's done in there, it takes a total of six weeks. So be patient uh, because it will heal. Now as you're healing, you will get uh, after the first few days, then things will tend to dry up and you'll tend to get these scabs and, and uh, old blood clots that if you're using your saline really well, those will come out quite readily. Uh, and very easily. And so the more you use the saline, if you're, if you're using your saline really well, then the healing is a lot quicker because those scabs and the dryness and the, and the old clots will come out uh, a lot easier. Those are some of the tips and pearls that I give some of my patients in addition to 
pain medications. Oftentimes I'll give a, a short course of antibiotics to prevent prophylaxis again, any, against any type of infections. But I hope you enjoy the recovery phase and especially the, the benefit of, of needing to undergo the surgery to correct the problem that you've been suffering from. Thanks for joining us today. Make sure you like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.